Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. It's just about one minute before seven o'clock. And this morning, you know, we were chatting about a variety of things this morning. You just heard from tertiary level education. Now we're going to get into secondary level education and how we can start impacting our youths more positively to make positive change in society. And doing that is principal of QRC, Queen's Royal College, Mr. David Simon. Good morning to you, Mr. Simon. Welcome to the Morning Show again in person this time. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. And I want to say a pleasant good morning to all of your viewers wherever they are. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. So QRC has been taking lead. She's Royal. It's a campaign that has been going on with you guys. And I, first, yeah, um, I want to know what your reasoning. Let me get back into your reasoning again before we get into what's happening this weekend. What was your reasoning for, for launching this campaign? She's Royal. Uh, actually, this happened... Um, in 2017, mm -hmm. I don't think that much, many individuals in Trinidad may remember, it's so commonplace to have women lose their lives nowadays. But there was a young lady by the name of Samantha Isaacs. Mm -hmm. She was from Carnage. She was an old girl of St. Francois Girls College. And Which she is was the school. Yes. Yeah. She was brutally murdered. And I remember reading that article um, on the Sunday Express. I came out in 2017 in December. Mm -hmm. And it really struck me. And I remembered asking myself, if I'm principal of an all-male institution, what can I do to try to curb this type of violence against women, where women are going to be losing their lives for very, very silly things, things mm -hmm. they ought not to be losing their lives for. And I felt then that I had a responsibility in charge of over 700 males to attempt to change the mindset. So I got, of course, my teachers involved. We started doing this in 2018 through assemblies addressing this particular issue. And it just blossomed mm -hmm. into what it has become now. As you see, have you seen an uh, impact, a positive impact on the boys since 2018 when you started it to now, 2022? Most definitely. Um, first and foremost, the conversation that is taking place now, it is not something that would have happened with me or even you when you went to secondary mm -hmm. school. I don't think that that conversation took place as openly as it is now. Definitely not. Um, so just having the conversations allow the young men to express some of their views um, some positive views, some of the views that we recognize that we need to change, mm -hmm. but they have wholeheartedly embraced the program and it is embodied in the curriculum at Queen's Royal College and it is incorporated into a number of competitions that we hold uh, throughout the year and the young men are very, very involved. They are speaking about it and we are starting to see that type of change that we, we want. Because it must begin yeah. with a conversation. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I know you guys have, so far, what, what are some of the events or the, or the activities that you've done to be able to further the conversation? Well, we, we started off, as I said, way back with our assemblies and using our guidance periods with our form teachers and other teachers and sometimes invited guests who would come and speak about the particular topic. We went, and what we are celebrating really is one year of really full activism because mm -hmm. what we decided to do was to launch a number of competitions. So we started off with an essay and an art and logo competition right. on the particular topic. And then we eventually moved on to a Calypso and uh, the poetry okay. right, and spoken word competition. Yeah. On Friday, we have a walk around the savannah where the entire school population will be uh, coming up with their own hashtags. We've come up with topics which have been divided mm -hmm. um, amongst the entire school population. We don't have our fifth and sixth form, sadly, because they are engaged in exams, in exams yeah. right now. But one to four, we are going to be discussing topics and the boys are going to be making their own statements okay. as we walk around the savannah. It is not open to the public. It mm -hmm. is a closed event at Queen's Royal College, but we have our parents and our students and some of our well-wishers. And I have been advised that the brother of Samantha Isaac should be joining us. Right. I, think I that also would be understand very you good. have other, other victims and family members that should be yeah, joining we, us. Yeah, we have put that out, and right. we, once they do come, we will welcome them 
with open arms. What do you um, hope the walk the walk achieves though? What is the walk meant to achieve? The walk is meant to get Trinidad and Tobago to recognize that action is needed. Mm -hmm. And it is to get young people to understand that they have a voice and they can make a significant change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I do want to thank the media for the type of attention that it has thrown on the program because it has made it much easier for us as an institution to be able to get that message out. Yeah. But it is an expression. Uh, there, there are many, many benefits from that. It is an expression of the youth. It is also the opportunity for them to come and be out. COVID mm -hmm. has robbed them of so much. And this is just an opportunity for them, the young men of Queen's Royal College, to express themselves. Now, Mr. Simon, while I have you here, we, we've been seeing lots of increased violence, or at least increased showcasing of violence in schools uh, nowadays. Up to yesterday, we had that, that horrific incident that took place. Uh, have you seen an increase in violence in your school, or have you noticed an increase in violence generally in schools? Have you been hearing more, or is it that we're just seeing it more now? That's, a, that's an excellent question. I, I will answer that by, by removing it from the context of the school. Mm -hmm. Right now, Europe is in war, right? Ukraine and Russia are killing civilians, etc. Mm -hmm. There's violence all around us. Mm -hmm. A school is a microcosm of what takes place in the larger society. So if there is violence all around us, it is only logical that in the schools you are going to see an increase of violence. Mm -hmm. Because you see, what people do not recognize, all of this talk about the young people. When you are in the midst of young individuals, you maintain hope. Who do they follow? Who are their examples? The young generation is not going to do things that they don't see us doing. So how can we look with the type of overcritical eye that we, we, we tend to focus on them mm -hmm. without looking at self? What is the example that is set? by the rest of society? What is the example set by generations before? These are the questions we should be asking ourselves. Of course, fighting and violence always existed. Social media is going to make it more visible right. and more prevalent. But if we do not give these young people the tools to be able to deal with the stresses of life, then this is going to be the end result. So I don't want to just bring it and let it reside in the school. Mm -hmm. The school is a reflection of what takes place in the wider society. So if we are always at war, if we are unable to accept each other's, each other's beliefs, yeah. Yeah, religious and political, look at our situation. So the fish is rotten from the head, that's what you're saying. I, I would think so, and I'm not speaking about the head in Trinidad and Tobago. No, I'm just generally, I'm thinking generally about in, in leadership generally, yes. like, you know, we are, we are the leaders of the next generation, like you're saying, right? So I understand exactly what you're saying, and I want to thank you so much for the work that you've been doing at QRC. Please keep it up, because we need it. Well, when you say you, I want to make sure you that all, it is understood. at QRC. <laughs> yes, that it is the PTA, the parents are, yeah. are very, very involved in this. The staff of Queen's Royal College and most importantly, the young men. Of course. Who have embraced this because we have a student a committee. They come up with ideas. They are driving it. I think mm -hmm. you would have seen. We had one of the young men on the program yes, before. Yes, as I was just about to yeah. say, you would have seen them coming out and speaking about it. Yeah. This is all part of the program, getting them to embrace it, to accept it, to believe in it, mm -hmm. and then to be agents of change. Thank you so much, Mr. David Simon, for joining us this morning and for the work that you guys all are doing at QRC. Thank you for having us, and we really, really want to say thank you for all of Trinidad and Tobago who have supported our event here. So thank you very much. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, David Simon, the principal of Queen's Royal College, sharing with us what they are doing to try and stop gender-based violence. Stay tuned. We have a lot more on the Now Morning Show when we come back. <laughs>